thing number one this is a Walmart Supercenter so what is a Walmart Supercenter means it means it's the largest in all the chain of Walmart stores it means that it has ammunition it means it has camping supplies it means it has uh, tropical fish which it does have so for starters it's got the it's got the um, the width and the depth and the, and the size which means it carries everything pretty much that Walmart sells so that's first off second off this was the first Walmart in the Disney area so I'm coming here a long time I'm coming here since 1977 and this Walmart I didn't look up the date but I do know for a fact that this is the original Walmart that was here and so it gets points on originality so another interesting part of this Walmart and I'm gonna tell you a very cool story that's a true story now there was a place right up the block over here called jungle land and I'm gonna put a little picture of it up on this on this video frame for you to see and jungle land was open to the public up until about 2002 but a really interesting thing happened at jungle land over in 1997 and you could actually look this up there was a lion in there named Nala which of course was named after um, the Lion King uh, Jungle Land had nothing to do with Disney it was just a private uh, enterprise it was a seven acre kind of zoo and preserve where you could come in and see lions and tigers and probably bears too oh my but what happened in 1997 on the 17th of December was that they were fixing Nala's cage they were adding like a little height thing and you know so when it rained she'd be a little safer so while they were doing that Nala being really smart she escaped from the cage so Nala was gone for like three or four days in Central Florida and they couldn't find her so there was a search up and down 192 now Nala was I believe two years old at the time so she was full grown she was a 450 pound lioness and she was roaming up and down 192 nobody saw her so finally they found her and I don't remember the restaurant that it was I think it was either uh, the Cracker Barrel or or a Golden Corral one of the two and I believe she was actually in the dumpster eating so I think she was there and then she jumped out and she ran over to a little field so they just kind of softly tranquilized her and brought her back to Jungle Land so Jungle Land is actually only a half a block from here of course it's closed it uh, when you pass it you'll see a place called the Gator Inn and it's kind of like a little fancy uh, like a like a little tropical type of front to it that'll tell you where jungle land is so that's another reason why I think this Walmart is uh, pretty interesting now let's go a little farther along for interesting facts another interesting fact about this Walmart is I don't know if you guys know if you guys are RVers out there but for those of you who are RVers and for those of you who aren't RVers I'll teach you a term there's a term out there called boondocking and boondocking is a thing that RVers do when RVers don't want to be at a campsite they'll come into a place like a Walmart and they'll stay here overnight or they'll you know and what they'll do is they'll come and they'll they'll stay overnight and then they'll buy food now it's unofficially you know Walmart doesn't really sanction it I don't think but the reality is that boondockers come in and they stay and of course they load up for supplies and they turn around and they go to their next campsite or whatever so the precise term is boondocking but to be more specific when people do it at Walmart they call it Wally docking so another interesting fact about this Walmart out of all the Walmarts that are in the Central Florida area you're gonna see the most Wally docking happening at this Walmart right here because one it's a huge parking area right here and at any given time you could come in here and you could see lots of campers in here now I'm not gonna go over to one but I'm just gonna show you one right over here stay at a little bit of a distance because I don't know but that's another interesting fact about this Walmart so let me swing you around right there okay so right there you got a camper right there and uh, that's an example of Wally docking and you could see how big this parking lot really is and of course you have a lot of trucks that come in and do the same thing sadly you have a lot of homeless people in here too uh, homeless people in a sense the ones that sleep in their car and what they'll do is they'll sleep in their car and then they'll you know they'll walk through Walmart at night and of course being it's Walmart you uh, you have a McDonald's in there you have food so it's also a place where you can see a lot of that um, interesting part of this Walmart I would think is the fact that in my estimation as when I came here a lot as a tourist 
this this particular Walmart is right near medieval times, as I was telling you, and I always consider this the unofficial border of where tourists would go because, as you know, Highway 192 goes from uh, goes to Lent pretty much of Florida, and it heads into Walmart on this side, going east. I'm sorry, it heads into Melbourne, part of Florida. Now. Most guests, obviously when they come down, more and more stuff has been opening in Florida over the years. So it's getting to be the point where people don't even leave property anymore, hardly. So in, in, even in the days when there wasn't, there wasn't as much to see, uh, people would pretty much come down to this Walmart and they, all, they would also go to Medieval Times, which is actually right up the block over there. So it's only a half a block from here. So I always considered this the unofficial border of where tourists really come. So along with that vein is that, what the point of it is, is that in this particular Walmart, you're gonna see a lot more people who live in Florida here. You don't see as many as, as of course you see a lot of tourists here, but at all, the, you know, back in the day, there was a lot more, but like when you come to this Walmart today, you're gonna to see tourists, of course, a lot of them, but you're gonna see a lot more regular people here, uh, regular people, people that live in Florida, residents of Florida, in this case, residents of, you know, Osceola County. So that's another interesting aspect of this Walmart, I think, which makes it really, really cool. And uh, so another thing which really is interesting, so another thing which is really interesting, and I think I'm gonna play this speech at the end of the video. Um, I, I always mention it in my videos, we lost our son Matt last August to suicide, and we're gonna be starting a, a um a foundation for him called the Waffles Foundation. Anyway, I always like to mention him in my videos because I love them very much and I miss him very much. So when Matt was little, and even when he was even older, because he, he left us at 27 years old, but certainly when he was little, we used to come here and, you know, of course, you know, a lot of times kids don't like to go shopping, obviously. We'd get him a little toy always, of course. But as my wife would be shopping, I would always be doing something interesting with Matt, like playing a game with him, or we'd have a ball that we'd be tossing back and forth. But one of the things that we used to always love to do, because Matt was a big lover of Disney as well, was that we used to like to play what we called pick out the cast member or pick out the team member. And for those of you who don't know, folks, for those out there, um, which makes a lot of sense, of course, but people who work at SeaWorld or people who work at Disney or people who work at Universal, they're told not to wear their costumes outside of work. So, you know, because obviously it makes a lot of sense. Like, you wouldn't want to be a bus driver, let's just say, working for SeaWorld or Universal, and then you come out and then someone thinks you're working for Walmart because you got the costume on. So, what'll happen is, they had that announcement on, sorry. So anyway, so what would happen would be, well, what does happen to this day, of course, is that people who work at the parks will take off their shirt and they'll wear like a t-shirt underneath it, obviously, or they'll switch the shirt. But typically what'll happen is, is that they'll be, they'll be wearing purple pants or red pants or a pants with a stripe down the middle or they'll be wearing like something, you know, certain kind of shoes. So because we love the theme parks always and we, we frequented all of them, we were very, very familiar with the costumes at the parks. So Matt and I would love to sit there, you know, drip, drinking a soda or a slushie or something like that. We would just sit there and we would play guest the cast member. And it was just a lot of fun because as we were sitting there, we'd have other folks joining in. And we'd, at first they'd be wondering what we were doing. They'd be saying, what the heck are these two guys doing here? Talking about this and guessing and all that. And then, uh, of course, when they caught on and sometimes the cast members would, uh, would kind of shake their head or give you like a nod or a smirk that they, uh, that you pretty much, you know, they were happy, I guess, that you knew their costume. So it was, it, it was, it was really, really interesting. And folks, the reason why I mention this is because, again, folks, life is really short, and I'm gonna put the speech on the end of this video. It's what I consider my favorite speech in any movie, because it's so significant. It's cool, it's from Blade Runner, the 1982 version of Blade Runner, and the speech is by Rutger Hauer, and it's called Tears in the Rain. And one of the things he says is, all these moments will be lost like tears in the rain. So what I'm trying to tell you and what I'm saying right here is that the reason I recount these stories is that I don't want these things lost like tears in the rain. I, I want it to be around. I want to keep Matt's memory alive. And I'll tell you folks who's ever watching out there, you don't really realize it, but 
the photos that you take down here, I mean, look, it's part of life. We see what we're going through right now with this virus thing, but it's part of life that people leave us. And, you know, you got to make the most of it as you can. And typically, and I could tell you from, from being around this for a really long time, typically people tend to remember these vacations. I mean, you know, you might not do a video all year long, but you're going to do the video when you come down to Florida or there's going to be a funny story that happens down in Florida, be it with the rent a car or being with something that happens at one of the parks and all that. So, you know, you don't realize, I mean, it was said in another movie, I think it was the Sandlot movie where Babe Ruth actually appears and he says, you don't realize the most significant part of your life uh, the most significant things that happen in your life while they're happening. But of course, you remember them later on. So just something to think about, food for thought. And uh, like I said, I'm going to put that speech at the end of this video because I really, I think very highly of it. I'm a big sci-fi fan. I think Blade Runner was one of the best movies ever made. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, of course, I don't uh, get any proceeds from that movie or nothing. But also with all that's going on, with people wearing the masks and all that stuff and how you have a technologically advanced society with all kinds of like plague and different problems happening. I think it really pegged the future really, really well. But that's this, that's a video for another day. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please drop me a, a shout or a like. Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Because as I was telling you, once I monetize the channel, all the proceeds from the monetization are gonna go toward the Waffles Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And uh, like I always say, the, the next life that you save might be someone that you love, someone, that, someone who you love. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And folks, please drop me a line. Let me know what your favorite Walmart is down in the Disney area. And if I'm wrong, um, or if you've got some really interesting stories, and you can tell me that one of the other, one of the other uh, Walmarts down here is more interesting than this one, then, you know, why not? This is America. It's all about opinions, you know? But to me, like I said, this one's like the most interesting and uh that's why i did the video so folks i hope you enjoyed it take care of yourself um do i do you guys want to see medieval times i mean of course you know where we are about right down here i'll give you uh hold on a second one second i'll show you all righty so just to give you a general scope there so there's your walmart right there and of course like i said you got the chick-fil-a right here and as you can see like a half a block away you have medieval times i mean it's not a best of all shots but Trust me, that gray building right there is medieval times. So enjoy. If you ever come down, it's a pretty good show. Oh, and just one more thing you guys might know. Um, Give Kids the World Village. It's a very sad thing. We're not going to get into that. But anyway, um, if you guys ever went to Perkins and saw a lot of the donations go to Give Kids the World Village. Give Kids the World Village is if you go to this Walmart right here, you make a turn at the corner. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it right here. I could actually probably get a little bit of it right there. That green sign right there is actually the sign that tells you it's Give Kids the World Village and you just make a right and you go up there. I've done some volunteer work up there and uh, it's sad, so we're not gonna go into that right now. But um, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to give you a little proximity there. Stay tuned, please, for the Rutger Howard speech. I'll see you in the next video. This is Al signing off. Take care of yourself and I'll see you real soon. Thank you.